We called, we wrote, we called, we wrote, we went to his office, he refused to meet with us. It was a frustrating process. A frustrating process, and these are really issues. It was a town hall meeting long overdue for many who feel Congressman Dave Trott has been unavailable and unreachable. It was held at the Hyatt Place in Novi this morning. Around 700 people showed up to have their voices heard, but only 450 were let in. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson was one of those, and she has more for us. Congressman Dave Trott faced a passionate and vocal crowd this morning. All questions had to be submitted in writing. Trot randomly selected which to answer. If it presently proposed came before me, I'd vote no on the budget. And, and he, and, and From finances to education. So Betsy DeVos's idea of... He covered a variety of topics during the hour-long town hall meeting. But Ed Weberman couldn't leave it to chance. He had to tell the congressman about his son, Alex. He was diagnosed with cancer at age 22. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, stage four. At the time, Alex had no health insurance of his own. He just graduated from college. He was looking for a full-time job, didn't have one yet. Thankfully, Alex's treatments were covered under his parents' health plan, all because of the Affordable Care Act. The ACA saved his life. Trump listened and responded by inviting Weberman to Capitol Hill. I'm going to go to Washington on Tuesday to meet with him. But many others in the crowd left feeling disappointed. There was no way to follow up what his answers. And, and the lack of space left hundreds outside unable to see or hear. I think that the whole thing was mishandled from start to finish. They had a speaker set up inside for this lobby and not the people outside. Trot wasn't available to media. His staff was. I think that this was this was a great a great start. Um, it and was a so frustrating start for people in the snow. Mm -hmm. A oh, couple yeah. hundred of them oh, who yeah. weren't able to even hear answers, mm -hmm. let alone be in yeah. there. Yeah, and I know we did take um, questions and comments from people outside, and we will be getting back to them um, from the congressman. So that's definitely something he wants to answer questions. They're hoping that next time he holds a town hall, he'll plan ahead and create an overflow space so at least those left outside can hear his answers to questions. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson in Novi 7 Action News.